So for this video, I'm going to be explaining to y'all how I found a celebrity kind of gang gang minion and how I figured it all out. We're going to get into it. The gang gang, the cult members, and the minions. A little bit of roast with a lot of facts, all white boy style. Let's get into it. What's happening with it? White Boy Radio, and we're back with another one. Hey, look, it's YouTube, man, and I hate fake people. I can't stand fake people. You guys know I'm a real person. Now, look, back when I made the uh, the tight shirt videos with um, Wilma from the Fatherless Podcast, the glare, when I did my parents, I had a, uh, to be completely honest with you, I had a lifelong sort of uh, idolish person come by. Well, not really. It was his wife. And who I'm speaking about is Mr. Rich Gasperi. Okay, He's got a huge supplement company. Very successful man. Um, matter of fact, I, I don't know the exact stats, but I, I believe it was like 1986. He literally beat Arnold Schwarzenegger. For the Mr. Olympia complete thing. In the opening clip, that was his wife. And the title to that video said, In Honor of Benny Keats. And if you scroll down just a bit, it says parentheses, gang, gang. Now this lady, who is my idol's wife, despite... The boob job, the lip job, the nose job, the facelift, everything job. I mean, at, at this point, I don't know if her and Molly go lightly. Like, who has more medical procedures? Like, like who's doing more per month in money for lifts? You know, and, and, and by the way, didn't Molly get a Paris... Uh, a Paris whatever her name is, vagina. So I'm wondering what this one. No, seriously. Here's the thing. This lady is an older woman, okay? So it was rich. I just told you, 86, he beat Schwarzenegger. She was a supporter over here at White Boy Radio. And comically, she would be an avid speaking out against Benjamin, I'll even go as far as to say I was offered in the mail, if you will, a free sample bottle of this protein. And guys, look, I work out. So over the course of the weekend, I was uh, doing a little hate watching, if you will, and I landed on Benjamin's channel. And beknownst to me, when I saw him with his roll of pennies and dimes at the 7-Eleven, I noticed his shirt and it said Gasparelli, nutrition. And then I found said video of 50 to 60 year old woman bobbing and, boy, bobbing and hip hoppity in the car. So one was to think, I believe she mailed him the shirt because my sleuthing skills here are telling me, well, we know Benjamin doesn't work out. And he lives in a garage. How did he get money for anything Gasparri? This is Six Star. It's Walmart brand. Gasparri nutrition is very expensive, people. And then I saw said person in comments as hate watching. Now, here's the thing. This is the part of the internet that I love. Hey, Rich. This is me talking to you without me talking to you. Bro, you are a brand yourself. You represent a brand. I actually watched you coming up. You were a, you were someone who lifted weights who I respected and watched. I know you have made a successful life for yourself. I can tell 
by the car that you're right that your wife hip hopity hip hops to. She also showcases your all your cars, the office over there, and everything. I would even go to say she offers YouTubers samples of your product, your profit. Which is cool if they're good YouTubers. I could have used it, by the way. I don't think I'll get one after this. But I wanted to tell you, Rich. I know the state that you live in, and I see you're a smart dude. So I know that you see what's going on in our country right now. You know, your wife is online, bro, saying she is gang gang. Okay. Now, I know you're a busy man. I understand that. I know you're pushing a brand, a company, and you got gym time. So let me just give you a little wrap up of the relationship here. Your wife is sending your brand, your product brand, to somebody who exploits missing kids, literally gets close to the family, and then burns them. It's pretty bad. Also, there's this, this thing on the internet where there is like family of said scumbag. And what they said was there was a time when said scumbag's ex-wife walked in and caught him getting sucked off by her gay brother-in-law. Now, at first I didn't know if it was a rumor or not, but then I myself was on a panel with said scumbag's own daughter, and she at that point yet confirmed of said sucking. Now, here's the thing, Rich. The thing about it is this. The same shirt your wife sent this is a person who is all the way woke. Now, I know you have a brand, you're pushing it, but what I'm telling you is he hangs out with even another guy that wears super tight shirts, super tight shirts, and says a lot of these things, my fabulous and racist. But they like leech off each other probably blow each other, but they talk similar if you get where I'm coming from. And what I'm telling you, Rich, is I understand that you beat Arnold Schwarzenegger in 1986. If I was to say that same sentence to these two white losers, they would get mad because I said Arnold Schwarzenegger. They would want me to be feeling racist for his last name. That's how super woke these two gentlemen are. Now, that's not a good look for your brand. So you have the woke thing there, but the kids that are getting exploited, rich, do a quick Google research, maybe a YouTube search. I don't know, Cash Gurnan, for instance, would be a good start. Don't watch the YouTube videos, maybe go right to the channel. Sarah Wells might trick you and tie up your time because the parents there, and whatnot, I can continue to name and name and name. The, the thing, what I'm getting at you, Rich, is your brand is across this bony chest of his when he's burning bud and popping pills and driving, exploiting missing kids and making a mockery of it. Also, driving women, doxing them, this is like a real negative aspect for your branch. Now, I know that you're a busy man. So I'm just kind of like helping you out here. The only thing I can think about this is, I believe it's the wife's fault. But the thing about this, Rich, is, I think I figured it out for both of us. She's going through menopause. She's got to be going through menopause. You know, um, you know, I th either it's either menopause or a midlife crisis because I think she got to YouTube and just got, you know, um, 
all drawn in on, on everything. And, you know, she's just gang gang now. It's got to be menopause. So I'm thinking, like, we can network here. You know, let me give you, an, a, 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 you know, let, let, let me give you an idea. Um, there is a product that's great for menopause, right? Hey, what's your mom take? What's that thing called? The other one. Hope has black cohosh. You should make a bunch of that. And wifey would be perfect like a spokesman for it. You know what I'm saying? And then maybe the normality will hit. Because you guys have kids, you have a brand. You don't want this look. You don't want this look. You don't want this look. I mean, unless you go on the woke angle with the company, I can, I can understand it. But, you know, if that's the case, get the, uh, the, get the gay brother-in-law and give him the shirt because you'd have the whole thing there. You'd have the whole thing. You'd have the LGBTQ. It, it would be perfect for you. Rich, this is getting out of control. Out of control. Out of control. Exploiting kids. This is a scumbag. Let me tell you about the dog that he killed. You know, PETA might, your company's all over the United States, blue collar company. But there's a video where there's a dog killed and people say a lot of things and said scumbag uh, explains how he killed the dog. Now, this is the gang that your wife belongs to. Um, now, I'm not saying that she's part of any of the shenanigans. I think it's a midlife crisis. It could be one too many injections to the face, clogging the brain. I can't tell. Um, you know, I'm just a real person. But look, you can take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, but it's factual. Now, I'm going to have to ask you to tell your wife, I decline the supplement. And please, for her to unsubscribe for my channel. Um, I just can't get down like that, bro. I just can't do it. Now, also, look, I know you beat Schwarzenegger. I know. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that you did it on hard work in the gym. This dude said scumbag. He doesn't like steroids that well. And matter of fact, I have been the bunt of a lot of workout jokes from said scumbag. So, like, I'm just trying to replay the things that were said between me and said scumbag. Now, that's okay, right? But is said scumbag going to do the same jokes to said wife? Because that was small wieners, testosterone, all that. Also, I forgot to tell you, he did snitch in two states. It's not a good look for the company, sir. I'm just telling you, I'm keeping it real. Snitching, exploiting kids, killing pets, and getting sucked off. What do you want more? You can't even make this shit up. But I wanted to tell you, man to man, look, I'm blue collar, and you see I'm rocking the Walmart. It is what it is. But what you won't, what you won't catch me doing is any of that shenanigans. Gang, gang. The gang gang part is this dude's cult following that looks magically looks past all that. Let me repeat myself. Magically looks past all that. So the gang gang cult member that your wife now belongs to, what they do is this. They act like they don't know about any of the kids getting exploited. None of it. They just... Forget about it. Right over the head, if you will. Then, they act like they didn't see the dog video. Then, it doesn't matter if it's a rumor or if one channel says it or if it was the ex-wife that said it. It's all debatable. But then, when the daughter comes on and says, yes, it's true. I believe, quote, I'm quoting here. I don't know. He came to Dallas and started being gay and stuff. Quote, they forget that one too. It's like a magical cult. But here's the thing, Rich. 
One thing that cult members do do is PayPal gang, cash out gang, 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 all the time. It would be a shame when I tag you in this video and you're watching me for the first time, very angry right now, but not really angry at me, angry at your wife, but yeah, you're still angry at me, but really angry at him. See, it's, it's like a weird change of direction, uh, the black cohosh. But at the end of the day, your hardworking money, your brand, your company. Cash up gang, 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 gang. Rich, I hope you take my advice, bro. And and not only do I hope you, if you, you don't have to take my advice. But what I what I would like you to do is just read the comments. And just so you know, I'm not lying. I'll include the screenshot of what your wife said. And I don't know, you saw you saw her video in the beginning. You'll figure it out, Rich. You're smart, dude. Stay real, people.